All right, hello. Welcome to this weather update. We got to talk about some weird weather going on across the area today. Uh, it's about a quarter to eight uh, on November 27, 2019. And you notice all this over here. Well, if we could go back a little more in time, you would be able to see here that we had thunderstorms. So let's go back over here and look at this uh, radar here on the Ventu sky. Yes, folks, we had thunderstorms popping up. Uh, this is around four o'clock. Uh, I think it's four or three o'clock. Whatever. I don't know the military. I can't get the time on this straightened out. Uh, but anyway, um, I think this was around 4.20. Uh, and you can see here uh, that, uh, look at this. So here is the uh, this uh, first uh, shower that popped up over here. And then there was more that popped up over Suffolk County. And these actually had lightning with them. So, uh, yeah, they actually had lightning with them. So we're actually thunderstorms. Uh, and this kind of just really flared up as it moved across the east end. You could see a pretty heavy cell going across the south wall. And there was lightning with this. There was lightning with it. Uh, which, again, it's, it's, we're talking November 27th, the night before Thanksgiving, and we're talking about thunderstorms, which definitely is not something that's supposed to ever happen. Uh, so you could see some more cells over here, really strong cells. Look at the worst of them were over the uh, water here. Uh, but, again, really... Uh, unusual unusual to see uh this kind of activity in 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 uh in, in at this time of the year really very unusual but not surprising because if you look at see the warmth that we've got over us right now you see uh, that we have all right this was so we had more of a south southwesterly flow which kept the island not too bad but then what's going on now if we look at the current conditions let's go and look at the current conditions right now We'll use this, and then I'll go to one to ground as well. So if we look at the current conditions, you will see here uh, we have more of a westerly wind now, west-southwest wind, and the temperatures have actually shot up now. We're in the mid-50s. Uh, we're getting this air uh, from over uh, New Jersey, and it's absolutely awful out there right now. So it's very warm, uh, and the air is just really heavy. So uh, we're supposed this cold front's coming through, but unfortunately this is just this little bit of warm air, again, that we're getting. The sea breeze is kind of now being suppressed with this west-southwest wind and we're getting all this air from New Jersey over us and it's not pleasant so uh, it's, it's warm it's way too warm I mean this is above the normal t high temperature for this year so it's well above what it's supposed to be these are the wind gusts in red uh, you can see uh, some tw uh, 22 some 30 mile an hour gusts the wind is going to be a problem tomorrow um, let's go and look at the um, Let's look at the, let's put dew point in here. I'm curious to see what the humidity is. So we have dew points of 50, 51. So it's a little less, it's still kind of muggy out there. I mean, dew point's still in the 50s. Uh, we have to, the drier area, we don't really start seeing drier air until we get into Pennsylvania. Uh, if we go east here, uh, you can see these dew points up here. Uh, let's look nice this would display. All of a sudden it stopped displaying. Um, you can see here, uh, 55, 32 mile an hour wind gusts, dew points, and look at this. Cape Cod has dew points in the mid 50s right now, so it is humid. A little, lot more, a little more humidity came up here than I thought. Miles just uh, underestimated that angle of it completely, and I guess that humidity was enough to fuel these thunderstorms. Uh, so let's uh, look at the one to ground site now. We're going to look at that and see what we have going on uh, as far as uh, temperatures across the area here. So. Again, look at these temperatures. See, see what's going on. The sea breeze is now suppressed. We're getting air from New Jersey over us, uh, and the cooler air is up here. So we have to wait for that to come in a little later. Uh, but right now, we're dealing with this warm air. And uh, if we look at the dew points, you'll see it's kind of it's kind of muggy out there. Dew points around 50. Uh, you know, it's very muggy for this time of the year. It's not normal, but again, when you're dealing with the climate, there's so much storminess going on across the entire country. We got to talk about too, not just in our own area. Um, so uh, let's look at the precipitation, see what these storms put down as far as rainfall goes. Most of us didn't get any rain. There was like a little sprinkle here, and that was it. Let's see what the east end got. Well, not not a lot of heavy heavy rain from these storms. They probably didn't last very long. Uh, let's see if we got some more rain out on the North Fork. Not really much rain. Um, not much rain. So, uh, yeah, not a lot of rain from this. 
That's weird. Because of the, if you looked at the radar, you thought there would have been more. He has a .26 in Huntington. Stay, I don't know if that really happened or not. Uh, actually, this isn't Huntington. This is like uh, Comac, .26. But other than that, not a whole lot of rain going on across the area. And again, we got these, uh, the, again, these warm temperatures across the area uh, to, that we're dealing with. Let's go to the Weather Service Twitter. I want to see if they actually did make a post about these storms here. Uh, across the area. So let's go to their Twitter here and look. Let's see if they said anything about this. So showers and a few thunders. This was two hours and a few thunderstorms. So let's see if we have the, if they can show you the radar here. Yeah, there's there's what hit us right there. Look at that. It just blossomed as it moved over eastern Suffolk County. You could see it right there. We didn't get anything. Uh, there were a couple of the North Shore looks like it got clipped and maybe the South Shore got clipped with something, but we didn't really get much of anything here. Just a couple of drops. Uh, and uh, this was earlier today. The temperatures way above normal, way above normal, uh, way, way too warm, yeah, way too warm. Uh, but we have across the entire country. If you looked at the entire country here, if we go back to that weather and hazards viewer, let me go back to that. Yes, is it right here? This is it. So if we go back to this uh, weather and hazards viewer, you see here we have storms over the over the uh, big storms over here. We have these high wind warnings and, and, and wind advisories. So there's a wind advisory for New Jersey uh, for tomorrow, actually later tonight than tomorrow. If we look at the radar and put the radar and overlay that on here, uh, and you will see here uh, there is uh, most of the rain just missed us, but we have all the storminess out here. And uh, the storms, actually, California actually wound up getting hit very hard by uh, some pretty bad storms uh, last night. Uh, and... Uh, we're going to go look to Power Outage US here and see. You'll see what I mean here. Uh, we have a, we had a, a nearly 100,000 people without power in California yesterday, um, mainly in the northern part of the state uh, because of very high winds. That they had 50 to 60 mile an hour winds uh, with this storm. And now there were high winds also in uh, high winds in this area. So you have a lot of power outages over here too in Pennsylvania, Michigan. So we'll get a little taste of those high winds. Um, you can see here, look at these high winds here. Uh, I meant these uh, power outages. So we'll go look at windy.com and you'll see what I mean with the winds. Uh, so uh, if we go and we look at wind gusts, you'll see what I mean. This area right here, very high winds. We have high winds offshore too, by the way. So. Uh, some high wind gusts, but if you look over Pennsylvania, we have some wind gusts up 49 miles an hour, um, 52 miles an hour. So yeah, quite a, a system here uh, that we're dealing with here. Uh, again, this the low is up here, so it's going to be moving to the to the uh, up into the Great Lakes. So that's why we're not getting any of the snow with it. Uh, and then in California, also, if we went back to yesterday, uh, you know what? I'll use this. If we went back to yesterday, you will see what happened in California. So let's go back to yesterday. All right, we're going to go past days. And we're going to go to the 26th. So you see, look at these winds right here. So this is the, look at these high winds right off offshore. So could see them racing so if we look at the wind gusts here you'll see what ha what happened yesterday in California had this huge storm come in right here look at that 74 mile an hour gusts this is like in Eureka Crescent City area and they had a lot of power outages here from this high wind look at that 89 on the back side look at how fast that thing is spinning I'm telling you that is crazy so uh, and then we can move it along you'll see what happened as the night went on the winds got even worse uh, as that that storm got on shore here and uh, you can see here very strong uh, extra it's not a tropical system extra tropical but uh, very strong nonetheless very unusual to see that uh, for uh, you know California uh, certainly a lot of a lot of wind if we can only harness the power of all this wind we wouldn't need to be burning fossil fuels anymore uh, oh yeah, by the way, here is the lightning map. You see the light, it obviously doesn't show it here now, but there was lightning strikes in this area. All right now you just have some lightning strikes off Cape Cod or Nantucket and then some out over the water here. So yeah, a lot of uh, wind going on out there. Let's look at the uh, satellite here as well. Show you the satellite here for today. 
high resolution to show you the storm here. So here is the storm right here. Here is that storm right right here, the one that's over the Great Lakes. So this is the air, this is the one that's impacting. And this part of the storm right here, they're getting a lot of heavy snow. That's not affecting us though. And then this storm that came into California, which we'll back this up and you'll see there it is. <laughs> Look at that. Almost almost looks tropical, doesn't it? Look at that, but no, it's not. It's an extratropical system. It's just a very strong extratropical system. Very strong. Look at that again. So that that's that just slammed California. Just slammed it. So let's look at the models and see what we have coming up uh, as we go into your Thanksgiving and uh, see if the will the will the balloons fly. And uh, the conditions are going to be very. Uh, uh, suspect, I think, to fly a lot of the balloons because of the winds. Because this this deep low here moves to our north, and then you can see how tight these isobars are as we go are, and so as we go into Thursday morning. So you know we're going to have high winds uh, as this low, like really, it looks like it almost bond, it, it almost forms like a coastal uh, right off Nova Scotia almost. So it's going to keep the wind cranking all day Thursday. You can see how tight those isobars are over us. Uh, and then we have this high try to build in for us on Friday from eastern Canada. And then uh, we have to look for this next storm, which will be uh, Sunday's event. GFS right now seems to it tracks it over the lakes, and then it develops this coastal. Uh, but it, it, looks like, it looks like the GFS keeps us mostly rain. It would just be too much warm air. But we'd have to see what happens. Obviously, this is a ways away. And I'm, I'm going to talk about this storm more in... Uh, Another weather update probably uh, Saturday, sometimes Saturday night. I wasn't even planning on doing a weather update tonight, but uh, because of all this crazy weather going on uh, across the country and even in our area, I had to. Uh, so uh, let's take a closer look at these wind speeds that we're going to be dealing with. All right, this is the GFS, so you'll see what I mean with the winds. Uh, so, and these are sustained winds. So as we go into Thursday, you'll see here. Uh, that uh, there are some sustained winds over Long Island. This is a sustained wind uh, right around mid the middle of the day in the 20s. So it's going to be very windy outside. Uh, and um, they may not be able to fly the balloons. I'm really thinking the conditions are going to be very difficult for them to fly the balloons. I'm, uh, you know, Obviously, it's a parade and people like it. I'm a little more concerned about power outages. However, a lot of the leaves are off the trees, so I'm thinking we should be hopefully okay in that department. Uh, not have just have scattered power out of this as we go into Friday you see the wind quiets down but these winds are pretty strong uh, if we go and look at the NAM model also look at the wind speeds here let's see what the NAM has for tomorrow you get, well you can see the winds ramping up too look at that so yeah this could be a bad situation tomorrow with these winds like I said somewhere in the mid 20s uh, for the winds uh, which again is uh, pretty uh, pretty bad uh, you know, and if we go and we look at windy.com, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at uh, windy.com and we'll look at see what the Euro has for us tomorrow. So, uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. These are the wind gusts. We'll go right to the wind gusts, all right? So, uh, if we uh, look at the wind gusts, uh, 31 mile an hour wind gusts, uh, it seems like the wind actually gets a little worse later in the day. So, maybe the morning, it might be, I know they have it in the morning, so maybe it'll be okay. But by the afternoon, forget about it. You have wind gusts 43, 47, uh, so wind gusts near 50 miles an hour as we go into the evening, 43. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be very windy on Thanksgiving. And then we see those winds drop off as we head into Friday. But as far as Thanksgiving goes, it's going to be windy. Uh, but what about the skies? What is the sky going to give us? Well, let's go to the skies right now. We'll start off with the NAM model. And we'll take a look at that. And we'll go to the skies. Let's see if we can clear it out at least for tomorrow. At least get some sunshine. So looks like we start off with some clouds. I don't think it's going to really be a clear day. You can see a pretty thick batch of clouds there popping up. A lot of instability in the air. Maybe a little more sun in the late afternoon. But I, I doubt we'll see a clear day. I think Friday maybe we might have better luck. But no, the NAM. This is the 18Z NAM by the way. Uh, it starts off with clouds and then maybe a little better toward the afternoon, but I don't know if it's going to be a clear day. And then the cirrus rolls in on us on Saturday. So, uh, you know, very big cloudy tomorrow, you know, breaks, you know, mix of sun and clouds, but I don't think it'll be 
mostly sunny. It'll probably be at least 50% cloud cover most of the GFS is even more pessimistic with tomorrow and keeps a lot more clouds over us as an overcast. Uh, Friday, maybe we can thin the clouds out a little bit, but, you know, it's just it's a frustrating situation. We just can't clear it out uh, for the rest of the weekend, and we're still stuck in these damn clouds for the entire weekend. So, uh, you know, your best jet bets for sun are probably... Friday, you'll probably have the least amount of clouds. Uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. So what about temperature? Let's go look at the temperatures and see what the GFS has as far as temperatures go as we go into tomorrow. So here's tomorrow. Uh, we are still near 50 degrees tomorrow. So we're slightly, ever so slightly, maybe a little above average tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, the colder air works its way into the area on Friday. So we see uh, the uh, temperatures drop into the, low, uh, the middle 40s, which is uh, more seasonal for this time of the year. And then Saturday, still even colder, uh, with highs only around 40 degrees. And then Sunday, we have that cold air in place as that storm. So it could be a really cold rain, um, but it might be a rain. But I'll have a, you know, it's hard to say right now. We're still a little bit of a ways out, and I'm not going to really, you know, speculate uh, on the storm just yet. Uh, you know, but it, right now, it doesn't look like a snowstorm for us, unfortunately, for the snow lovers, um, for the people who want a snowstorm. I'm not somebody... Who, I mean, it would be nice to have a little snow, I guess, but I'd rather have it a little more into the month of December because uh, we're just starting with December right now. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's you know, what can I say? It's not, it's still not a great pattern as far as clearing the skies out, having better uh, sky conditions. Uh, let's uh, go look at the Euro as far as the skies go tomorrow so we can look at that too as well. As you can see a lot of clouds over us. It's 8 a.m. You can see a good amount of clouds. Let's see 3 p.m. So maybe we have a break in the afternoon maybe. Let's see 1 p.m. Yeah, we're overcast at 1 p.m., 93, so it, it it clears out a little more toward later in the afternoon, but I think the day is going to be mostly cloudy for the most part. Plenty of clouds around and a lot of wind, so let's see if we're anybody off of Friday here. 7 a.m., uh, no, won't be a clear day either. Still be some clouds, could be high clouds. Uh, and then Saturday, uh, maybe... Yeah, no, there's going to be serious rolling in on us, according to this. So, yeah, unfortunately, the rest of this month looks, looks uh, unfortunately, plenty of clouds around. Uh, but, you know, it's just, you know, it's frustrating when you can't get a clear sky. Yesterday we had a clear sky. I guess it was as clear as it could be, but it was above normal. I just want that weather we had uh, a couple of weeks, you know, the one did the Pine Barrens hikes and, uh, you know, when I went to start off in Brookhaven, that's... That's the kind of weather I want to have. It seems like pulling teeth, trying to get it. it. Used to be such a frequent occurrence when I was younger, but due to climate change, well, it's becoming more and more of a rare thing here. But if we were in Flagstaff, let's just uh, put that in there. Let's take a look and see what the forecast for Flagstaff is. If we were in Flagstaff, let's see. Partly cloudy. Okay, so it looks like there is going to be, oh, they're going to have a snow event on Friday, it looks like. But they've had clear weather. If you go and you look at the observations, I think it was clear all day yesterday. They've had a lot of clear weather. Let's see. Clear, clear. Yeah, they were clear here. Had some clouds here, but plenty of clear skies, too. Oh, and it's been cold, too. Let's see. They only got up into the, uh, let's see, yesterday. The 26th. They yeah, had a really nice day yesterday. So yesterday, highs were, well, actually, oh, it's 70? Did it hit 70? Oh, no, it's the humidity. Oh, yesterday was cold. Yeah, look at look at Flagstaff. They had the kind of weather I like. See? It was a crystal clear day. Temperatures were 32. The dew point was negative 4. Yeah, that's the kind of weather we want, but we just don't seem to get this anymore here. It's very frustrating. Oh, man. Wish I was over there and get a chance to enjoy that. That's that's the kind of weather. You, you know, it's like the, they keep getting the AMS as we used to get. The cold, dry air. All right, that's my rant on wanting cold, dry air because you know, you know, it's just, that's the kind of it's the best weather to go hiking in the Pine Barrens. It's the best weather, but we can't seem to get it. We're stuck in these damn clouds all the time, you know. So I'm gonna go a little bit beyond in the long range and see if we can clear this out at all, at all. So Monday cloudy, Tuesday cloudy, Wednesday cloudy, maybe Thursday we can get out of it, maybe before the next storm rolls in, gives us yet more clouds. It just never ends with these damn clouds. And then we got more clouds. So, you know, just want a clear pattern. 
Oh, it's like it's like forget about it. Just can't get it here anymore. Whole East Coast is becoming like tropical and cloudy, and and the West Coast is getting dry. You know, but it's almost too dry out there. So you take your pick, take your pick. Uh, but anyway, that does wrap up this weather update. Uh, again, um, you know, uh, the, if we look at the uh, let's just look at the models again as far as tomorrow goes. And let's take a look and see if uh, let's take a look at the winds again. I want to use one more model for the wind. And I'll move this back to over here. Here's this storm, by the way. That's the next storm. We're not going to talk about that. We're just talking about the wind tomorrow, and then I'm going to wrap up this video. So, again, we have these high winds. I, I looked at the NAM already. Well, let's look at the HRRR model and see how that does with the winds. All right, I don't have enough of this ZRZ. I only looked at the 23Z. So we can see HRRR. It only goes out to 17Z, so it's not going out far enough. Um, but, oh, ICON. I can use that. Yeah, all right. Let's use the ICON. So uh, these are the winds tomorrow. So it's questionable whether they get the parade in or not. Uh, it, conditions are going to be very borderline uh, as far as the balloons go. Uh, but again, I'm a little more concerned about power outage situation uh, with these high winds. Uh, so you know, if we do have widespread power outages, maybe I'll do another weather update tomorrow. But other than that, I think uh, that will wrap up this weather update. So I want you to have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, and uh, hopefully, just hopefully, maybe we can get a nice clear day that's cold. Soon! <laughs> but anyway, I do wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching.